Hello, friends, and welcome to Words of Encouragement, coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And, friend, there's no better place to find a word of encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word, the Precious Holy Bible. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Zephaniah, one of the minor prophets, Zephaniah chapter 3. And today I want us to look at verse 17 as our text verse of Scripture. Now the Bible says here, The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Boy, I praise God, he's a mighty God. The Bible says here, he will save, and he will rejoice over thee with joy, and he will rest in his love, and he will joy over thee with singing. Friend, we have a singing God, and he rejoices over you. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Our God is Limitless. Our God is limitless. You know, the world's billions of people could come down to the beach and uh, just reach down their hands and fill their hands with the seawater. Everyone could take as much as they wanted, as much as they needed, and still the ocean would remain unchanged. You see, the ocean is uh, mighty in its power. It would be the same. The life in its unfathomable depths would continue unaltered, although it had supplied the needs of every single person standing with outstretched hands along its shores. So it is with Almighty God. My friend, we serve a God that is everywhere at the same time, heeding the prayers of all who call out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, performing the mighty miracles that keeps the stars in their place in the sky, the plants bursting up through the earth and the fish swimming in the sea. There's no limit to God. There's no limit to God's wisdom. He's an all-knowing God. There's no limit to God's power. He's an all-powerful God. There's no limit to God's love. Friend, he is love. We try to use that little word love in many different ways, but we can't even begin to fathom or understand what love is until we get to know God because the Bible says God is love and there's no limit to his love. You can't do enough to, to make the Lord hate you. Now, my friend, the Bible says that there are several things that God hates and one of them is sin. But there's not one thing you'll ever do in your life that will cause God not to love you. In fact, the Bible says, For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten Son, that if you would just believe, you should not perish but have everlasting life in John three sixteen. So there's no limit to God's mighty love. And friend, there's no limit to God's mercy. There's no limit to God's grace. He's a God of grace and mercy. And I could stop here and say, you know how I know that. Because when God saved me, he reached down to the guttermost and saved to the uttermost. That's the kind of God he is. Friend, our God is limitless. There's not one limit you can put on him. He's a limitless God. Think about that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for being such a limitless God. And the greatest thing is you're not limited whatsoever in your love. Lord, our love is a limited love. Things can happen in life that would cause us not to love as we should. But no matter what happens in this life, you are a God of love. And we're so grateful and thankful for that. Help us, O oh God, to put more of Jesus on so that people will be able to see him in your love. And we'll thank you for it in his precious name. Amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. Hey, remember, God is a limitless God. And share this limitless God with others. People get to know Jesus. It'll change the world. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day.